So, let me have a little look at the, <coughs> the driving skills workbook. How have you found going through this? Through that, I've been going all, all right, reading through that, not, not having a drama with it. Okay, good, good, good. So looking at the targets here, you're reasonably comfortable with everything, would it be fair to say that? Yeah, just apart from reverse to the left, to the right, and then bay parking. Okay, so if you were to set some goals for today's session, what would, what would they be? Uh, to try and master the bay parking, um, to get that bang on, because I just keep forgetting positioning the car to go into it. Okay. Um, okay. It's like if I'm parking it to the left or I move to the right and then reverse into it, I keep getting the mind block and then opposite. Obviously, if I'm parking to the right, do I park on the left and then come in? Okay. I, 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 can't, I can show you that when I'm in, in the car park. We'll, we'll, It'll we'll, be we'll, easier we'll, to show. We'll there. So, so if we were to be able to measure success from today's session, what would that look like? What would that feel like? Getting into a bay park is yeah. <laughs> that would be it for me. So, okay. <laughs> well, in terms of um, in one fl fluid movement, because I can get okay. into him, you know, going in at right angle and then okay. perfect. I can okay. get in like that, not a problem. Well, we can, we can have a look and then perhaps see if there's anything that we can we can help you with. Um, you know, perhaps what we can do is have a go at it and then have you review how it was and then see if there's anything we can we can yeah. kind of develop. Obviously, we've got to drive to a location to be able to do that. So, is there anything in particular? You, I mean, there's nothing that jumps out from from what you've marked in. There's nothing that you're marking up, going, "Ooh, I'm not familiar with that." What would you like to work on on the way over there? Um, maybe handbrake usage if we okay. need to use it at the um, for the time how we're meant to use it at the traffic light. Okay. Because sometimes I got to put it on, and then it's like, "Oh, I didn't really need to use it then." Right. You know. How are you deciding on when to use it or not? Is there, is well, looking at lights when I'm coming up to them, seeing how long they've been on or not, but it's just seen every time I've seen to have got to one, they've changed pretty quick. Okay. Uh, and I don't know if that's because the quick change light or not. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, I know the ones in our town now, but the ones further out, right. I've got to right. them and I've gone, oh, that should have been on for a lot longer. Okay, so we can maybe have a little look at that, maybe have a chat about it when we come to these situations yeah. and just explore what they're thinking is there. So you don't mind me asking you questions as well? No, no, not at all, no. Okay, well, I mean, in terms of driving, obviously you're a full license holder, so am I yeah. safe to assume that all driving decisions are your responsibility? Yeah. And that if we get a speeding ticket, it's on you? It's on me. Following 10.21 a.m.? Following 10.21 a.m. I've got it on camera now, mate. You've got it on camera. <laughs> okay, I mean, is there anything else in general that you, you particularly want to have a have a look at or a think about, or are you quite happy with what's happening? Uh, I'm quite happy with what's happening. Okay, so it, it's... We're going to have a look at bear parking in particular. We'll see if there's anything else that we can come up with. You're happy with most of it. You're responsible for the decisions. In terms of success, well, we've got some targets here and the, the criteria for the test, which might help us in, in terms of deciding if it's if it's to the right standard. Have you had a look at the, 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 the test criteria? Yeah, I've been reading through that. I've, okay. When I've been taking things off, I've gone through sure. the test. I mean, it tells you exactly what. I mean, this is for the L test, but it's the same standard. Yeah. Right? It's the higher standard that they're looking for. So, okay, so we're going to have a little general drive over there, have a look at some traffic light stuff. You don't mind me asking questions on the way. Um, we're going to have a look at the, the bear park manoeuvre and see if we can we can tighten that up. Um, yeah. Get yourself ready when you... I'll do just your mirror on this side. Have a little... Have a little is examine it, Is it car. that one there? Yeah, it is. It is that one. Do they do it or do we need before? It's on that side, isn't it? They're all different, aren't they? Yeah, they are different. My my work one's got a button like this, but if you press that, it does lights. Mm. Yeah, I've got a picture of it light. See that bit? Yeah. So you were one for uh, reading the manual when you're getting a new car. You just like messing around with them all. I, I like messing around with them. You get a feel more of them, I think, when you do that, and then if you come across something that you really don't know. So in terms of safety. What would you say the, the critical thing is where to find out about the car before you drive it? What your brakes are. Yeah. <laughs> where your brakes are. Um, and if it's got airbags. Hmm. So do you know how you can test whether they're all working or not? You just look at the screen. What does that tell you? It'll tell me if there's anything got a fault with it. All right. So how does that work? When I turn the engine on. Everything will come up, and then if it goes off, that's fine if it oh, stays on okay. it. Okay, so that tells you if all the, well, what, like the electronic systems The system electronics are working. Tell me about the physical stuff. Do you know how you can check that? It's 
by moving about with it, playing with it and feeling Could it and getting a feel for it. Yeah. Uh, do you know how you would check whether the power steering was working or the brake assist, the vacuum assist on the brakes? I can't recall one though. No. Okay. Um, but he has a little routine that you can try. If you put a little, when you come to start the engine, if you put a little bit of pressure on the steering wheel, so you're just pulling on it, and you put your foot on the brake, as the engine starts, if the power steering's working, that'll go loose. If the vacuum assist's working, the brake pedal will dip a bit. I think I already do that. I mean, I'll make ah, a... <laughs> I think it's not. already in me. Yeah, I did not. I do that, yeah. So they're just, they're just systems that we can use to make sure that everything's working. Uh, is there anything else you would check on the car before you drove it? The handbrake, make sure that's working. Seems we've already decided that all decisions are yours. Yeah. <laughs> a handbrake, yeah. How would you check that? Just put my foot on the brake, put it on and then... Okay. Put it back off. There you go. When you're ready? Yeah. Off you go. So just a quick question, you left the clutch there as you started the engine. Tell me a bit about that. I was just putting it in, jumping ahead to get my bike and point to test it. Do you gain anything by doing that? Uh, only when it's in gear so it doesn't stall. Okay, is there anything else that you gain from it, do you think? No. How about making it easier for the engine to turn? Do you think that's a... Because you've disconnected the gearbox, haven't you? Yeah. So it can do. You know, if you've got a knack an old car that's got a bit of a duff battery, it can sort himself. Anyway. It on, I've done that before, you're <laughs> kicking it and punching it, aren't you? <laughs> that is, that is. We'll leave the car park and take the road to the left. I just feel full of spite and point in it, let's get that. that was it. And left as we leave the car park. Quite comfortable, these seats. It's a lovely car to drive, actually. I really like it. Feels like you're closer to the curb than you actually are. I was just about to say because you look actually you're filling the whole road up yeah. with this one. Just got a bit, bit to get used to that clutch as well because my clutch on my, my car is really soft. All right. So we talked about traffic lights and handbrake use. There's a set of traffic lights at the end of the road here. Tell me what you're thinking about that in terms of handbrake. Well, this one because it's on green now, it could change, but it, on this one you usually would put your handbrake on this because. It's on red for quite a long time. What tells you that? Because it's a freeway. Okay. It's also been on green a long time, hasn't it? Yeah. You think that's an indicator? Yeah. So it's been on green a long time, it's about to go to red. Tell me what you're thinking is in terms of handbrake here. I'd put it on on this one. Okay. So before you get here, you can start working that sort of yeah. stuff, can you? But th this is the part as well, do I... While I'm waiting like this, I know it's going to be on for a while. Mm. Oh, maybe not, as long as it used to be. So whilst we're sat, you can sometimes get indications from elsewhere, can't you? We'll go yeah. left at the next traffic light. Tell me about this next one in terms of handbrake. Do you think you're going to use it here? This one? Mm. Not at the moment, no, because it's just turning, but you would do it on this one because it's the slow one that you're looking at. So is that, can we make connections with handbrake use and approach to yeah. the lights? I, I, you can, I think, my, I think I said it wrong. It's not the fact that I'm not sure about putting the handbrake on it. Do I keep myself ready with the, yeah. the gear? And I think that's where I'm coming from more. Sure. So is that different depending on where you are in the queue? Do you think? Yeah, if you feel the back, obviously you put the handbrake on, put it into neutral, and then wait. I think it's just when you're at the front, it's that eagerness to go. Do I keep the, it at the sure. biting point? So if you've got somebody sat next to you here, assessing your driving, how does he know whether you've done it because you're at the front of the queue or whether it's incompetence? Is there a way you could let him know? Maybe tell him or talk while you're doing it. Yeah. And then the examiner at least knows that you put a bit of thought into it. Yeah. You have got a 30 on you. I think it was 10s, don't it? <laughs> I'm just checking that there. I'd like that there is a speed limit though, if you want to use it, we'll go left at the, <laughs> left at the end of the road. I, mean, I weren't going over 30, but I was just... Sorry, this road. <laughs> the, the, the other one. <laughs> it was. It was oh, that's the other fine. One. Now then, that's an interesting point. What do you think that would get marked as, a, as on a test? I've asked you to turn left at the end of the road, you've turned left earlier. Is there anything for an examiner to mark there, do you think? Uh, not really, because I think he's just misheard, as long as it was all done correctly. Absolutely correct. Approach to that junction for me. 
Oh, um, Sibylla wouldn't care because then I could have taken off straight straight away if it were clear. Okay. Anything else you might have done differently if you do it again? Uh, put me in the coat on a bit, a bit sooner. Okay. What does that get you? It makes everybody else aware and it's one less thing for me to do while I'm at the, actually there. So I'm okay. set off. Okay. In terms of safety, how does that fit, do you think? Is he, are we are we safer because people know what we're doing, do you think? Or? Yeah, we're safer because they all know what we're doing. And if they know what we're doing, we know what we're doing. And we're more prepared to go. Yeah, I think I just asked a bad question. Yeah. That's it's that's just the way it was like that, I don't get it out. So have you been finding your practice? Uh, my practice, I, I've been finding it all right going out on me. I mean, I've been going out on my own, obviously, a lot more. And then I've been going out with kids as well. Do it with a bit of a distraction in the back as well. So yeah, you're getting used to having queues at traffic bank. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not bothered about them. I never have been. <laughs> they, they want to overtake. They can overtake as long as it's well. Fun. As you've seen, they will do. Yeah. Especially once you've got the car marked up as a driving school car, it's like a red they light. Do, they do. They come closer. They try to intimidate me. It's like I drive all night, and I get it with trucks as well. It's yeah. like there's hundreds of speed cameras there. If you want to. Get up to me and then speed off because you missed your, your ticket, not mine. That's right. Especially in Wakefield. And it's nice to know the, the silver Vauxhall behind us. Yeah. It's at a lovely respectful distance. Oh, yeah, you can see that. You can see it in most drivers, they're looking and thinking, oh. yeah, I remember when I was there. Like, yeah, oh, oh, I don't want him near my car. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's usually the younger drivers, it's not usually the middle aged drivers. Tell me about your thoughts on this situation here. He's a uh, wheels of stage. Uh, no. 
not really, not in here. They're right over the car park. Right. And we'll find a bear to play with. Yeah. There's Bob Corner here somewhere, I'll do a slice. Yeah, I'm going to say down in bottom. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not too sure now we've passed the area that we're going to. So, I mean, how, how about the people who are behind you? And indeed in front of you? Well, the people behind me, if they were keeping a clear enough distance, I think it was plenty, it'd be plenty of time because they've just got to be patient and wait, haven't they? So, how much space did you have behind you? Not a lot. Uh, that car will get him right up behind me, won't it? Right. So, what, what difference does that make to your approach, do you think? That I've just got to be more aware that he's, he's there. So I think you just choose a van. Yeah, I'll, I'll go there and do it on that one. It's nice to be over this corner, so that's not... Uh... So how has that impacted on your thoughts on handbrake use? Do you think you've got a system worked out in your head? I've, I think I've already got it in my head. It's just, you know, when you when I'm say, sat like that, and then, oh, do I keep my clutch on and keep it ready to go? Mm. That's more when I'm at the front of it. Yeah. When, and that's sometimes it's like that. Well, I'm ready, but every time I seem to approach them, yeah. I've had no need to. I'll just I think sometimes the awkward really bit is... Has he got room to get past you? Yeah, he probably has, hasn't yeah. he? Just put that on so he knows. But the awkward bit's when you're number two or three in the queue. When you're number one... Generally. Number one, you generally... But that's what I mean, we're on, like, on test. Do I sit there like... Do I sit there like that? Wait. Well, if you put yourself in the role of the examiner, if you sat next to somebody and he's thinking, does this guy know what he's doing? He's maybe thinking of putting, picking his pen up. But if, if you sat next to you and you were saying, you know what, I'm leaving it in first here because these lights are going to change. Yeah, because it's like same at some roundabouts, isn't it? It's like, yeah. you, I know what I'm doing, but if he marks it down, he marks it down. It's so if you've got something that's, you're thinking, mm, that could have gone either way here, just explain about what you're doing. Yeah, the example like the commentary. Absolutely. Doing commentary. I'm doing yeah. this because. Because this is how I've yeah. done this area, maybe. you know, It's like the Pontefract roundabouts. Yes. Yeah, I, I tend to, <laughs> you know, Everybody gets scared of them, so I yeah. tend to be ready. Who dares to, wins? Isn't yeah. It? Okay, right, so. so shall we have a bash at it, and then I'll get you to just review what you've done yeah, and see I'll what we're doing. Pick that one because it's just in corner, even better. I'll not try this in reverse yet. Yeah. Right. I'll just check it first. Yeah, that's it. Man. You that's might find that sixth. Is it? Oh, you've got it on that one, yeah. Well, and that's my work car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> that's my work. It may yeah. not have worked as well as you were hoping. No, no, I'd have, I'd have met that curve and that's right. <laughs> yeah, I'll check again. Yeah, that's my work. I drive that many different cars. Yeah. You forget which ones you're going into. Now, if I do this first time, I'll be annoyed because I can't show you what I mean. <laughs> Cars, Bob. Why can't I do that in my? Well, let's have a little think about that. So, hmm, there's three things you're 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 judged on here: control, observation, and accuracy. So let's have a little look at what this say about these. Come on, you want to turn engine. You can yeah. do. Uh, Oh, sorry. No, that's fine, as long as the blue light stays on. I'll just... <laughs> it's alright, no, I do that. That's why I said, do you want to turn it off slightly? <laughs> so if we have a look, what the examiner's looking for, that you move the car to a suitable position, with the wheels straight. Yeah, reverse so gear. did we do that? Yeah, I did that. reverse gear, take all round observations? I did until I come here, and then I should have looked again when I was pulling it out. Okay. I, I don't think I did. I might have done, but I think I might have been looking at the lines because I was talking. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about that then. What, if you were doing that again, what would you change in terms of observation? Uh, once I, just before I started to cut turn, I uh, might have stopped. Okay. Had a good all look around. Okay. Um, and then carried on with movement if it was safe. So let's look at what you gain from that. Let's look at the disadvantages. So what do you gain from the observations? Just to make sure that it's clear, there's no one around, I'm not going to injure anyone or so myself. The, the disadvantages of not checking around? You could hit your car, you not get into the uh, right position. You could. So tell me about not getting in the right position. If, if you're not looking all around, you can't see your bay. Mm. So then you, you can't do your judgment right. correctly anyway. So do you think that judgment's critical for this? Yeah. So, okay, you've got to look around a bit more. Um, 
If you're doing it again, what might you need to do to give yourself time to look around more? Stop, put your handbrake on. Could do, yeah, that would, that would work. So that would give you the time. Yeah. Anything else you could do? Come in a bit slower. Okay, what does that gain you? More, more time to move in. A bit more precise, maybe. Okay, and if it's not precise, what does being slow give you? In time to adjust. Cool, okay. So what else have we got on our, on our little list? Take good observations throughout the rear the rear window as the car moves backwards. Use clutch control to maintain slow speed. Just, let's just oh, stick, stick with number three just for now. Tell me about that. How would you view what you just did? I think I used my side mirrors more than my rear. I did look. Okay. I mean, these mirrors are great on this car because you can see loads of them. There, there is a... Disadvantages there, do you think? Are there any? I don't think there is any. Hmm. If, if you've already checked it and you know it's clear. So have a look in the mirror now and see. tell me what you see. I just see um, the tree behind us and a bit of the, the bush okay. on the floor. Now look through the back window and tell me what you see. Just the tree. Okay. Do you see more through there than you do there? No, you see less through the... Okay, so if you're looking in there and a pedestrian comes from that side, are you going to see them there? No, I have to look okay. So I think the, the important thing is that we... You know, we would never drive forward looking out the back window. It's really important we don't drive yeah. backwards looking out the front windows. All right, out of these. These are great, uh, but they're a guide. Yeah. Um, most of our, and it, it's a pain in this car because the wind is tiny and you can't really see much, no. but most of our observation needs to be that way. Again, do you think the speed impacts on that? Yeah, because if you need to, to break it, say he was walking behind. Yeah, so you've got plenty of time. Whether it's in jacket or not, you, you won't, might not see him. Well, that's right. If he's coming this way and you're looking there, so it's it's about it gives you time to yeah. cut control. So let's look at the next bit, number four. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say it gives you so time again, to use cut control. About yeah. About this one. Oh, yeah, that's the one I mentioned. Yep. Yeah, so it's the same, the same thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Number six within the bay lines, reasonably straight. Can I open the door and see how good I actually yeah. got into that one? You're absolutely bang on. Bang on. That's <laughs> I said that because I wanted to show the point. But so, what would you say was different with this one to ones you maybe didn't get right before? I think because I lined it up with that window there. Okay. It was just inside, and that's when I turned. But it's because I was further out from it. Mm. I weren't. I think I've been getting too close to the bays and then trying to turn in. Okay. Um, so maybe if I move out a bit, if it's clear, and then come into them. Okay. Because I mean, before when I, I know, apart, say if I'm going to shopping, I park so I can get to my boot. Yeah, you know what you I mean? Drive it, don't you? You're driving, <laughs> but if I'm, when I've been practicing, and sometimes, or sometimes when you're just out and about, I've gone at a 45 degree angle, yeah. moved down, I might have had to straighten up a bit, gone forward, and then come back in. Sure. Um, but I think if, you know, if you wouldn't mind me giving you a bit of advice, that when you're doing this, to get it the way that you're going to be assessed on it, you've got to get it accurate. Yeah. So just, do it at a tenth of the speed because then you've got time to adjust and I think what tends to happen is we look for some kind of magic bullet yeah. it's this reference point that's going to work it just, don't work like that no, I know that. <laughs> just keep judging it and yeah. just thinking is this right and if it isn't you've got time to do something about it yeah and because every car is different you can't have mm. a reference point at all so you're in the way deal correctly with other road users and pedestrians well to be fair we didn't see any we, didn't see we did any. have one guy one before guy we started waiting. so would you say that you dealt with him effectively yeah I put me in the kit one so he knew I was going to wait and then what would off. you do if you were sat went in reverse in and somebody came and just they looked like they wanted to be past you but they were just sat what could you do I could let them go by or how I could would, carry on and get how to would you position. how would you decide not just on the situation to check see how much space he's got to see if he can get by me mm -hmm. And if he oh. sat there like a lemon just staring at you? I'd wave him on. You could. Good. Any disadvantages to that? Yeah, because he might not exactly know exactly what you're on about. But... <laughs> yeah, we, we try and let them make their own decisions yeah. if we can. If you stare at him, what does that tell him? That you're waiting to do something. Yeah, you want him to make a yeah. decision, so the chances are he might. Because um, it makes him uncomfortable as well, so well, they move, they move, they move exactly out of the way. You tend to find, once you're, at, once you're an instructor, um, and you're doing your turn on the road, your reverse around the corner, and people come up behind you. If you and the learner stare at them, that generally makes things yeah, happen. I've watched it down in uh, Ferry Bridge, I've watched <laughs> them because I've gone down there and done a few, a few lessons. Okay, so in terms of tightening this up, what's what's our plan? For, we'll have another go. What's your plan this time? How are we going to do it? Check the mirrors, stop just before I turn, 
maybe have a good all round look. Then okay. look through the window and then stop the car while I'm looking through the window. Oh. So we try that and see if it works. Can do. It's smooth, isn't it? I like that. I like it. I really it's not do. bad. Nice colour on all of it. Yeah, Bumblebee. <laughs> so there you go, Kirsten. Yeah. Tell me what's happening here. She weren't too sure, so she's looking at me. Just other than yeah. pretty sure. Having a nice fag. I haven't had one of them in years. Nah, me neither. It's just, it's just shame. Sometimes you really want it. In percentage yeah. terms, how sure are you that it's safe to carry out the manoeuvre you're just going to do? Um, well, you can order with 99.9%, but pretty clear, pretty safe. Tell me about the 0.1%. Where does that exist? That's where any un unthinkable thing like that tree could fall down type thing, you know, uneventful, un things that are out of your control. So if the tree's going to fall, would you get a warning of that? Maybe not, you get a big crack. So is there any way you could help yourself hear that crack easier? Speed out that way. Oh, open your window. <laughs> well, that would work. Too. It's not my car, so I'd open my window, have a listen. So, does the window being open give you anything else apart from hearing the tree crack? Yeah, you can, you can get, help me um, have a clearer view. Any, I just anything else? Um, not sure. How about car engines? Yeah, you can hear cars coming. If somebody was riding up there on a push bike because the roads wet, would they make a noise? Yeah, they would. You hear the splash. On you go, I'll, sure. up. I'll be quiet. No problem. Pull that way up a bit, sorry. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I'll get it into reverse this time. Tell me about your observations. Tell me where you're looking and what you're looking for. Um, I'm just looking all around me into my blind spot. Going slowly. Checking over my right shoulder there, just to make sure no one else is coming up. In terms of the three things we talked about, control, observation, accuracy, analyse that for me from those, those points of view. And tell me what was different to what you did before. I had just quick glances into those mirrors, a lot longer staring into the rear view, uh, rear view mirror, rear window. If I was to ask you, would you stake your life on the fact that there was nobody about you there? Probably not, because it's a car park, there's probably someone everywhere. <laughs> Possibly, but um, I don't sure think there were. I were pretty sure, 100% sure that there were no one around. Okay. Apart from maybe that guy that left that car when we started. Okay, well, but yeah. But yeah we were going, going that way. Now. Okay, so you're so. aware of it all now? Yeah. So, tell me about accuracy. Can't see down there. I think I'm just in, I think um, probably about that, much up to that line there. Okay, so, so I could have done with a bit more. In terms of accuracy, would this be a pass, do you think? I'm in the way, am I? You are? Yeah, you very yeah much I think are. it would. You're not quite as accurate as the first one, but no. you're still in. Still, this is within the realms of, of doability. So, control, observation, accuracy. So how was your control that time? I think it was a lot smoother. Okay. So how does the speed impact, do you think? I think it helps a lot if you're going a lot slower. Because then you have got time to adjust. It's like I was coming in. I was like, oh no, I'm going to go a bit further over that line. Mm. So I slowed it, yes. and that's what brought me just. Yeah. If I didn't slow it when I was about there, I'd have been over that line. Might have just, might have just encroached on the line. Yeah. So it was a constant adjustment there, wasn't it? Yeah. So, do you think you've got a strategy that's going to help you to sort that out? I think I think I have. I think I'm going to. Okay. Just that a lot more in my okay. in my, my own care. Yeah, just. So let's have a look at the targets for that particular lesson. So I'll, I'll ask you them. Yeah. So when doing a reverse into a parking bay with no other road users around, I feel confident in my ability to move into a suitable starting position. Yeah. Select reverse gear, prepare my car to move, position myself to make effective observations through the rear window and still maintain steering control. Yeah, check this. Take effective all round observations, including blind spots before I start. Yeah. Okay. 
you feel confident that you can coordinate the controls in order to maintain a speed equivalent to a slow walking pace? Yeah, I do. Actually, yeah. we're well below that, won't we? Yeah. This is great. Pause occasionally whilst maintaining control of your vehicle to take effective all round observation, in particular before steering. Now, that's an interesting point because do you need to stop or do you? You know, it depends, it depends it? on the situation yeah. around you. Did you need to stop there? No. Fine then. Just slow it right down. And I mean, you know, as an advanced driver, you would expect that perhaps you can get it in a one go, but don't be scared to stop. Yeah. Did you respond correctly to other road users and pedestrians? Yeah, but there were no one around, so. Remember to refasten your seatbelt, we didn't take it, off. take it off. Now. So it says here, yeah, more challenging circumstances. You feel confident in your ability to safely move or complete the bay park in a more testing circumstances with park vehicles nearby and the pressure of pedestrians. Yeah. There were some room, yeah. So, always, of course, it gives you the test requirements. 5C, 5C. page 168. Yeah, I think I went so on you to can, that one on that one. You can guess yourself, guess yourself. Oh, I like, oh, I like yourself. that when I read it. I was like, oh, it tells you exactly where to go. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's so good that book. You know how you're going to be assessed. That's so, it. you know, if, if, ever, if ever you're asked by a learner, um, will I fill me test for that? You tell no, me. That's, when I was, I was like, it, it's there. It's, yeah. I, was like, oh, I need a question, but I don't know what. And then I look, look through that, and I was like, oh. So one of the key pay. things to do, this reflective log is great, because what you can do is you can look at what you've done today, yeah. um, and tell the story, if you like, of how it's gone. What did I learn today? What have I discovered? Um, you know, what am I going to do going different? And in light of that, what we're going to do next time. Yeah. So tell me about handbrake at traffic lights. Tell me about that. That's, that's one of the things you wanted to work on today. It was just the, like I say, I get there, can I show you what can? Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Uh, so I've come up to drop that, gone into first, and then it's like, oh, do I just sit there, keep the biting mm. point with one hand on, and then handle the steering wheel? Sometimes it's like, oh, I've done it, because usually about 20 seconds around this area, yeah. you know, I mean, they're not on for too long, because you've, you've seen them coming up, because you can see them as long. But then as soon as, you know, and then you've gone to like that, that's where it's... Let's imagine we're in, in the other seats. So I'm sat there and you're sat here. And I say to you, here, when I come up to traffic lights, shall I leave it in first or not? What are you going to tell me? Uh, I'll tell you to take it off, put it into neutral, or right. prepare the car and just have it ready to... All right, how do I know which one to do? Have a look at the vehicles around and see what's up behind you, maybe. Oh, how do you mean? Check how many cars are behind it. So I'm struggling with this. Move. I'm never. This is the, this is the bit when I'm, you know, like if I'm at the front of the queue or second, I'm never really a hundred percent sure. So what should I do there? Do the one that you're most comfortable with. All right, tell me about that. What do you mean? Like I'm always more comfortable. That's the reverse of it. I'm more comfortable just sitting, keeping the bite. All right, why is that? Hand. Because then I'm ready to go and I'm not rushing to All set right. off and not panicking. Once the lights change, if it changes, I'm not. Oh. All right. So how far back in the queue would you be before you went to neutral? I'd probably be, if I was, you mean in another queue? It was number four then. Oh, I'd say okay. about number four, I'd have it in So is that a rough sort of game? That, that, that is for me, that's what oh, I do. Right. Okay, okay. And that makes it easy for me right. when I'm in that. I know it's a weird thing to ask, it's just one of them things when you, when you're doing it, it just feels weird for yourself. It's like, so you don't want, I don't want to rush it. Mm. So I'm like that, that's what I no, normally tend to do, just have a biting point. So the, the job of a, an, a, an instructor or a, a coach or whatever you want yeah. to call it really, is to help you find the answer. Um, so sometimes just by asking you the question as though I was the learner, you've kind of worked out what it is that you do and that, you yeah. know, that's, that probably is the right thing to do. But sometimes we just want confirmation of it. That, that's it, it's more confirmation of, <laughs> am I doing it right or is it it's what you're comfortable? That this has the criteria. Uh, that, the that's what I, I saw it and because I've had kids running around me and then I was like, it's couple all in with, there. Couple with this, yeah, yeah. I'll give you everything you need. And I was like, it's so all in there. Has that, has that helped you get to a bit, a bit of clarity on what you need for those? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Are we done with that or do you want to do some of the work on it? Yeah, I think we can do whatever you want to do right now. Oh, no, I'll mm. have a little lie down and a beer. Yeah, that's so that sounds like right. a plan. A, <laughs> I was going to say there's a, there's a pub just there, but that's not, it got burnt it down. It got burnt down, down. Bank, I'm glad you didn't say it's a and b round there. <laughs> okay, yeah. so are you happy to leave those be and work on something else? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. Alright, then if there was something else you could work on, what would it be? Um, I did have one, I know it's just gone out of my head. Alright, there's the there's, um, there's the list where, of lessons. Where was it? No, I had it on. It's back from Bay Park. Which one was it? Which one was it? 16. Let me go up, I'll find it. Yeah, it's fine. It's a 
reversing to left and right, that's that was the one. Okay. And then reverse to left and right. Right now, well if we leave the car park and head back in a Pontefract sort of direction, we'll find some corners. Yeah. Left or right, what what is it you want to work on? What's our target? What's our goal for this next little bit? Just to get round the left one more. I mean the right one I can stick my head out and okay. straighten myself up a bit. Well, tell, me, tell me a little bit more about that. getting round, how do, how do you mean? What is it um, I'm, park, I'm parking up, right a great swift away from curb, mm -hmm. coming up to it, checking around, checking my mirrors and then I always seem to be just too far out into the middle. Okay. I mean I can stir back into it to bring it closer, you can. but it's just that. Is there anything we've done in this that transfers to? Just take your time and slow it down I think. Okay, well, I think that? I might have just been using too much gas when I've been doing it after you know just slowing that down. It's surprising even taking a quarter of a mile an hour off just buys you a lot of time. No, that, that, that second okay. felt a lot better. So the, the stuff it. we've done here? I think that might. Shall we try it and see? We can have a go. We'll go into the traffic lights and take the road to the left. That's a dead end that one. I've been in this one. Just for humour me here, let's assume that you're driving me somewhere to give me a lesson yep. on traffic lights and use of handbrake. So you're demonstrating it to me on the way there. Talk me through what you're when going to I teach me to do. When I come to a traffic light. Yeah. So we'll go right, left and then left of the traffic lights. So just assume that you're getting the first chance to show me what you're on about. People are just not I know. <laughs> just she didn't know that that person was there at all. Unbelievable. Got her on camera as well. Yeah. <laughs> How can people be so unaware of the surroundings? It's frightening, isn't it? Mm. Who teaches these people to drive? I mean, in a car park, I'm more, if I'm in my own car, it's the trolleys. You know, it's going to scratch him, got to be aware of him, because yeah. you hit the trolley and then the trolley's going into them and they cause more injury. So, you're so driving me somewhere. Up to traffic lights now. And then on this one, I can see that they've been on for a while, so I think I would put my handbrake on on this one. So that being main road, this, this seems to stay on a bit longer then. Right. How can you tell when they're going to change? Uh, usually look out for a reflection, but I can't see anything on there. See anything on any cars even lighting up? <laughs> there were no there was signs, nothing. nothing there, no <laughs> glass windows, no nothing. Not much to help you, was it? No. To be fair. <laughs> but yeah, you're right, you can see the reflection of the windows on a night time, you can see the light. Yeah. On Bus the shelters are good when they've got on there, they, 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 they shines are good in them. So again, we'll go ahead at the next lights. Again, assume that I'm, uh, I'm somebody that's never done it before and you're explaining the stuff to me. You're probably going to sit the existing yeah. test, aren't you? <laughs> probably, yeah. Um, we're coming up to the lights now, so obviously preparing to stop. Just watch what this can do. And then with this one, because I've been on for quite a while, again, I definitely put the handbrake on here because we're on a slope. Yeah. I don't want to roll back. So is it handbrake neutral or neutral handbrake when you do these things? Yeah, handbrake neutral. Right. Why, why in that order? Does it matter? Um, I can get back to you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> when we pull over, we'll go through that. Ready for it, you haven't touched it. That's good planning. What it does is it smooths you 
driving out. Just yeah. Out. So you're looking forward to the test? No, maybe that's a bad question. Nobody looks forward to tests. So. Well, I, I, you see, I've, I've, I've got a good job as well, like, so I've got a little bit less stress about it, right. you know. Um, and I always go into things like, early first time, you'll pass it second time. You, you can't get down on it. It's a test. It's, it's a test. It's a standard. Anything can happen. You've got yeah. to get it. If you, and then you know where to work for it. You've got to aim for that. Yeah. But don't get yourself stressed about it. It's, no. You Life's start doing short. that and Life's then short. You, you're not going to do it well. No, so you, right. You're going to flap yourself and then you know, oh, I know how to do that. And then now I've failed it because I'm flapping.
we'll get the traffic lights at the end of the road, we'll go left. Yeah. Tell me what you know about this situation ahead of you. That, that bus might be there for a while, so I'll stay on the right. Until he moves off, he's moving off now, so I'll move back. I'll move back so the car behind me knows what I'm doing. He said left at the end of the road, yeah? Yes, please. Yeah. So body language of vehicles, we're going we're to pick up all sorts of little signs. Yeah. Just by the way the car's been driven sometimes. And by the people inside it looking around. So, so, so that guy in the Renault, he was giving it this, wasn't he? So yeah, he's clearly looking. looking for something. I don't mind these roundabouts. Well, it's got rid of the queues, hasn't it? It has. I mean, of course, there were a few bumps at first. Well, I don't mind if I the odd accident, at least I get home in time for my tea and then left again. Yeah. I'm well, kidding, uh, <laughs> kidding, of course. <laughs> it's alright, but not a lot of people panicked when they first went in because it was somewhat different and there was a lot of accidents for the first few weeks. There was. So, what do you say the strongest part of your driving was? The bit you're most pleased with? Uh, just being aware of surroundings and okay. checking around on people around me. Second row on the left. This one is the first. Tell me about your signal in there. Uh, just letting the. Ah, I did it too early because it turned in there. Oh, I should yeah. have done it just as well. What's, the, what's the danger of that? That car might have thought, oh, well, overtake while he's there. Possibly. What about the red car coming in? He um, could have pulled out. And maybe. Sometimes we get, you know, we think mirror signal manoeuvre, but sometimes we go mirror, start the manoeuvre and then signal like yeah. that situation. You'd slow it down before you pop the signal, wouldn't you? Yeah. The same thing coming down from Noddingley, out past the, well it used to be a shell, the jet garage is yeah. so if you're turning left into there, getting the signal right is really tricky, oh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So sometimes the, the order changes. Well, when you're talking about it, as long as you, as, I think, as long as you know Ah yeah, I did that, I did that. Yeah. You know, as long as you know why you did it wrong or whatever. It's like just doing it too early. Well I think this is where commentary driving can help. We go ahead of the lights then first left and then first right. I know this area. You recognise it from the videos, that's for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> Search for a corner and reverse round to the left. See how that goes, and then maybe look for one on the right. These can be tight. They can. Yeah. There's odd shapes and all that. Not always 90 degrees, are they? No. With a bit of luck, the first one on the left will be empty, and we'll try that one. There it is. Unbelievable. There's only one car. That is unusual, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Generally, two. all the cars on this side. Isn't <laughs> yeah. it? So we'll reverse into this one here. Yeah. So what's the plan? So if I was to say to you, what's your plan for executing this 100% the way you want it? Just take, oh, oh I keep forgetting about that. Take it, I do it in car at work, it makes me jump every time. Um, just take it carefully and a lot more slower. Okay, so remind me what you're going to be assessed on on your test on this. All around the observations. Yeah, so observation. Uh, closeness to the kerb. So accuracy. Yeah. yeah. Um, speed and control. Control. I'm going to say fluidality then. That's a good word. <laughs> I'll just Over to you when you're ready. Oh. It might be a cold um, day, but it's still warm. Mm. It's almost tropical. <laughs> no. Just pull up in it. There you go. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Right, that's because I drive too many cars. I know my own car, but test. <laughs> Isn't that why they say use a car that you're, oh, <laughs> yeah, that you're used absolutely, to? Absolutely. Absolutely. Did you need it there, do you think? 
Yeah, because I couldn't see. I thought that, that someone was in that garden then coming out. Oh, just this guy then. No, I can't see this at all. It is a difficult car to reverse. Yeah. There he is. Come coming into view now. Tell me about that reverse. Job was a success. I think I'm in okay. I'm not too sure the size of this car. I'm not too sure. It looks like I'm in out just a bit too far above that side or not. I well, can't quite tell. Not too bad. Oh, but, but that's that's the height of the, the car. The gradient of the car as well. But you've been consistently that distance all the way around. Yeah. So tell me about it in terms of control, observation, and accuracy. Yeah, I did. I think I saw something there, so I stopped it. Mm -hmm. So I think I saw something, I think I should have put my handbrake on. It was a pause rather than the wait, so you'd have yeah. got away with that, but you could have put it on, that would have been okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I saw, it was a big red thing or something, I thought, oh, what's that? Well, sometimes we just on. catch things out of the yeah. corner of our eye. Right, I think there's a, a bag blown around, yeah. hung on the wall, just inside that driveway, and I suspect it was that, right. that caught your eyes in blue. Yeah. Um, Actually, you can just see the top of it. Yeah. Uh, I think it was all right because the lines are faded. You mm -hmm. know what I mean. I think the lines, just where that marking is, just on the road. Mm -hmm. So, I think it was all right coming in. All right. So, what made that successful? I think using the clutch to do okay. that control. Okay. So, is that a strategy that'll work on, on the other manoeuvres? I think it'll help them all. To be honest. Okay. <laughs> cool. What do you what do you want to do in terms of that? Are we are we happy with that? Do we want to move on? Do we want to try a different types of corner? Do you want to try a right reverse? We can um, try right the a right right okay. reverse. That's easy, for you. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. Yeah. Let's take the road, <laughs> road to the left at the end. Yeah. Quite warm. I'll put a vest on. Just pause it. there for me for a yeah. second, would you? In terms of staking a life on it, how sure are you? There's no rear round. Oh, I was sure that. You were sure. Yeah, well like that. Okay. Just check over your right shoulder for me. What do you see? No one. Nothing. What do you see? Oh, I see you now. I see a lady now. Okay. So were we aware she was there? No. Why is that? Because I didn't look over to that side on okay. that. Okay. So just there's check. that slim chance yeah. that she just came out of that pathway. After I turned. Yeah. Oh. So this is this is why we talk. When we say effective observations, look, it doesn't mean you're trying to make sure you look. look. Don't just turn your head. Turn. Look back again, and then. You've, you've got to think. What well, I stamped my life on the fact that it's clear here. Um, and you've got to look at it more in terms of though you were a motorbike rider yeah. than a car driver. Because if you don't get it right on a motorbike, you're dead. You're dead, you're off of it. So it's a lifesaver check. Yeah. Am I sure? Because bear in mind, you're, you're stationary here. You're not in a hurry to move away. Make absolutely sure. That's sensitive. Sorry, I'm just yeah, getting used to that. Sometimes sensitive. you just got to tap your foot in the floor and it starts well, it I'm going to put it all the way back in. So, so tell me what she's thinking of doing. She's thinking it. about coming past me, but. I can move off, she's going to park up behind me, so I'll move off now. She's not it's too sure about the size of her vehicle. But isn't it lovely that she's been so patient? Yeah, but she's probably used to use me around here. Well, she will be, yeah, because they're around here all the yeah. time. But she also showed me what her intention was by moving up behind me and That's coming right. into place. So. That's right. So if we take the second left, go around the loop, come back and use this one to reverse into it. This one, yeah. Come here. This a little bit tighter. Yeah. Signal, there's nothing here. This one's a bit of a tight one from what I remember. Big flag. So it didn't use the signal there, tell me about that. Uh, there was nothing around, no pedestrians or okay. other vehicles. What does the highway code tell us, do you know? Use a signal if only if necessary. Uh, is that what it said? We'll go right at the end. So do you know the difference between should and must in the highway code? Uh, a must is you have to do it when coming onto a new road. Yeah, a must yeah. is the law. law so yes. right at the end of the road. So tell me about coming onto a new road. Coming onto a new road, you, you should use an indicator. Does it say should or must? I can't remember for the top of my head. <laughs> 
<laughs> so what we'll do is uh, we'll pull over on the left just before the second turning on the right. So we'll just pull, pull off this car here. Just pull this let our white car go behind. Oh, she was going somewhere else anyway. Yeah. So let's have a little look at what it says here. It says signals worn or inform other road users, including pedestrians, of your intended actions. Give signals in plenty of time. Yeah. Use them to advise other users before changing course or direction, stopping or moving off. Cancel them after use. Yeah. So we say that when you're moving off and stopping, we don't always use a signal. But turning one road to another, what's the advantages and disadvantages of not signaling? Advantages, you both, you got your hands mm -hmm. on the wheel. Sure. Disadvantage if there's anyone around the corner, you might not see it. Yeah, so somebody could appear. So it's just come out of the garden or it's striking the balance, isn't it? So I think yeah. going one road to another, mm, it's probably policy to signal. I would have thought, yeah, as long as it's not gonna, not gonna confuse. So that, that was another question I was going to ask. Um, me at like a car park, you're coming out of car park, I was like, is it you know, do you don't say, say Aldi because you know that, yeah, you come out of pound stretchers, yeah. then you indicate onto it, <laughs> you know, it's. It's it can be difficult. Sometimes there's not time to signal. Um, yeah. Mini roundabouts are a great example. You know, you can signal going in, but you can't always signal, signal going, going out. I've heard, I've had that yesterday. I think the them. key thing is do the best that you can in the circumstances you find yourself in. But yeah. if we've got the time to give a signal, we really should. Yeah. It's, it's a forgotten art signaling. But like that um, little roundabout up in Ponty. Sometimes it's if it knocks off, it's pointless yeah. putting it back on because you, you, you're in a minute and you can't do it. You need you need to be doing the, the steering. So. It's, it's always important to know what it says in here yeah. um, and the guidance that it gives. It's particularly important to know where it says must and where it says should, because must is the law. Must is the law, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was one I was going to recheck with Martin. But... Yeah, I think it's always... I, I, I tend to think it's policy. Go on one road or another, use the same. Use the same. As long as it's not going to be confusing. Yeah. Have they blocked our junction? They, I think they've... In which case we'll use we'll the second, second one. one. We'll have a look. The bus might come because there's a lady up there. So how sure were you this time that it was safe to pull over? Uh, I was 100% sure that time. Uh, excellent. I've been keeping wild and I while I was talking as well. <laughs> <laughs> well done that man. And now, can I park uh, that bus stop to reverse? Mm, it's a bit tight isn't it? Yeah. You go right at the end of the road. Right the, so, yeah. the reason I say that is because there might be a bus due. Yeah. Or she might have missed it. She might have missed it, but... But she looks like she's been at the bus stop a while, doesn't she? She does, and... What tells you that? Well, she keeps looking around. Mm. I mean, bus. Anything else? Her hair was a bit of a mess. <laughs> and she looked cold, yeah. didn't she? So see the, the sort of information there is around to be picked up. That's it, so if we're going back round we know that oh, there might be a bus coming. Right. It's possible. Yeah. Or she may have missed it and just been stood outside long time. We'll take the next road on the right. It's unusual for an older person to come out way before the bus though. Yeah, and then yeah, they bang on time. Well organised, yeah. Well organised. Remember this turning off video as well, I think. <laughs> Overthinking that one. So I'll let you choose those the right turn to reverse into. Will that one do us? Yeah, yeah probably that one. Probably one. So what's the plan, man? Plan. Check that. And have a quick drink before I assess the area. Very well. Check. A bit of lie down, maybe. Yep. Yeah. Um, take it nice and steady. Uh, speed might change because it's on a slight uphill. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll take that into account. And open my window because I can put my head out a bit more as well. Can, can. So that gives you a bit of a clearer view of the curve. Yeah. What's the disadvantage of that? If my window could end up not looking into the mirror because yeah. I'm looking out of the yeah. out of the window more. So that's that. 100% sure that we're safe, Malarkey, that we're looking yeah. for, isn't it? Off you go when you're ready. Yeah. No, it's that way in this one.
just before this garden yeah. up. So tell me about that one then. It's a little bit weird in this car, uh, then which size of it, but... Well, you made lots oh. of adjustments on yeah. the around. Because I could see myself going wrong, because I lost it in the rear window, and I lost it there. But so I knew I had to go slower. Right, okay, what did yeah. I bring you? Bring me, give me more time to just adjust the wheel, especially on the corner when it went blind there. And yeah. Blind there. Well, there's a couple of points on this one where it, it tightens up a little bit. It did. And then um, you've got that bit where it dips in, and then it's and then it downhill here. Up. So, control observation and accuracy? Tell me about that. I forgot to have a quick look up to the left, or not okay. a quick look, a good look up to the left when I was swinging the car around. Okay. I used, because I was already looking through the rear, mm -hmm. I was using them doors and that mirror, uh, that door window and okay. the rear. Do you think you looked around enough to be sure you were safe? I think I did because I knew there was okay. nothing there. What would extra observations bring you, do you think? 100% certain. Okay. okay. So, in order to get those extra observations in, what would be the plan to do that? bit more practice. Okay, anything else would help? Maybe talking through it when you're doing it. Possibly. Yeah. Are we were just searching for ways of helping you to practice? Mm. Do you think that would have been a pass? I think it would have been because it's your control. I think it would have been too. So but you've already identified areas where you can... We're, look, we're looking for perfection, aren't we? Yeah. Really? Okay, and so how was that then? I think that was good. I think that's why I just needed that little bit of clarity before I saw okay. Martin again. Like, uh, I think sometimes it's one. just it's helped to to collect your thoughts in the right manner. Yeah, because that's about yeah. Okay, it's the height of the car. The height of the car that that's fucks away. But obviously, if, if you'd have gone like that, and I was parking here for good, who well, I'd turn in, you know. That. I mean, if you just just pop it in the reverse, I can tell from this scene because it gives me that. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> That's my cheat. Right. So the next thing had one of them in his test, he just passed with one of your guys. Oh, that, that'd be brilliant. Right. He goes, it would be great reversing because he had it all off his well, camera. The, the problem here is, of course, I mean, I like it for part three because it means you can sit here, you can keep an eye on what's happening behind, but you can still keep an eye on the examiner. Yeah. You don't have to sort of do this all the time. So that's why I quite like it. All right, no, then. That is quite good. Some... I've not seen one, actually. I've, heard, I've had the beat ones, but I've oh, not seen it on that. That's nice. good. For... You, just, you just keep the yellow bit on the curb yeah, and you're so accurate. Let me just... That's that black car there. It goes quite past it, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, and it's but I mean, you don't want to be using no, that. No, no, no. Look where right. you're going, but from an instructor's point of view, you can keep an eye on the people. You can also see what's happening. Yeah, because you keep an eye on that, then you. All right. Like, so <laughs> there's some good stuff. So we looked at left reverse, we looked at right, right reverse, reverse, we looked at bear parking, and we looked at handbrake at traffic lights. So in terms of success from from the session, tell me about that. I think it was. Um, it was good, just slow it down. Don't worry about what's around you apart as in people waiting. If they if you know they can get by you can give them a signal and mm -hmm. or just wait and give them an let them know that what you're intending to do. Right. I think that's where I weren't feeling it, you know, it's like right, I'm coming to do this, they're in a rush. Okay. Just slow the engine down. So me, if you like what's the what's the take home message from today's session do you think? Take a breath, relax. And just do it in your own time. Okay. Make sure it's safe and use the clutch more. So, in terms control. of what we were we were looking for today, in terms of success, have have, have you got it? I think yeah, because I, I on the bay parking and the reverse parking, the ones where I said I give it a tick. Or where was it? I missed a couple of ticks on it. Mm. Made adjustments to keep constant. And I think I've done that. You know, I mean, I've, I've you, you've made loads of adjustments. Yeah, there, but it hasn't affected anything else. No. Okay. So again, reflective log will help you to, if you like, tell yourself the story of the day. Yeah. Because that's what it's about. It's about that reflection will then help you to see, right, I've got a plan now, I know what I'm up to. And then you can write it down while it's in your head that yeah. I've got that, just take that, and then move away with it. Shall we go and have a cup of tea then? Oh yeah, why not? Back at base, yeah. So what do we want to work on on the way over there? Out and out. Everything, as, okay. we, do, as we go in. Okay, just, so tell me how we're going to Just measure. normal, what, what, was, what did I read it in there? I think it was as normal driving. Okay, no, so I'm, what do you think the examiner's looking for in your normal driving? A smooth fluid, can this okay. person get by? I think not. They should be over that, that one can, yeah. I was just scared of your new car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the size of it. Is he going to go around? Yeah. 
Again, the body language of the yeah. car tells you what they're about to do. Yeah, it? I mean, he, look, he looked down at floor like I didn't know if we were going to be first part <laughs> there, and then he was like, nah, just lazy on it. So what's our target for, for the drive back to the office? I mean, I know it's not very far, but what, um, do we wanna, what do we want to work on? What do you want to perfect? There's only I think I'm quite thing. good at distances. Um, okay. Maybe that indicating, you know, when, I don't know, if it, there's not that many junctions like that on way back, is there? How would it be then if, um, if you just talk me through what your thoughts were or just in relation to indicating on the approach to each junction? Yeah. Each situation, whether you need to, whether you don't, what your thoughts are? Yeah. Alright, yeah. off you go on, you ready? Right. Tell me about this one here. This one, yeah, because it's a new road. Okay. So pulling away we haven't used it in the indicator? No, because of a note behind. Okay. Uh, so this one's a new road. Who gains from your indicator here? Anybody. Uh, that's on the... Anybody the in particular? The pedestrians, if they're coming out yeah. on that manic yeah. So would he see that indicator before he saw you? Yeah, I reckon he would because it'll be flashing. We'll it right up. at the end. Would he see the indicator before you saw him? Yeah. If he was looking up. Same again. Tell me what that indicator means to this person here. Uh, she knows I'm intending to turn. And Will that influence her behaviour, do you think? Yeah, she maybe not move off. Or she's she really going to book into you, yeah. so she's she's laying off for one. Lots of people with these phones out and getting done, you know. Engine running there, key in the ignition. That's, that's six points and 200 quid. you got to be parked, aren't you? And the and engine's uh, running there, yeah. so that's driving the car. It's like, whoa. I, I, I mean, you. The, it's not just the police again, it's the cameras that are getting you. Yeah. So a policeman might just warn you, say, hey, the engine's running even though you are parked. There's still a car ahead of us. He didn't use an indicator going past that car. Was that the right thing to do for them, do you think? No, because I was behind him. They should have. Did you know what they were going to do? I knew they were going to pull out. I told you that. So the front wheels underneath the car and the way he was coming up to it and approaching it. Oh, I'll do you one more again. So, the signal didn't, wouldn't have helped us, but it, it might have helped somebody who's not looking as far ahead as you are. Yeah. So if there is somebody around to benefit from it, it's, it's, it's probably best. What do we know about what's happening around the corner? He's breaking, so there could be some people there. So you're ready for that, aren't you? Yeah. I do like this car, though. It's, it's, nice. it's quite it's nice. And I've not had to adjust much. I, I mean, when I first come in, just right at the end of the road. road. So there's somebody who's not signalling at a junction. The other way. The other, the oh, other, the other sorry, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Fantastic. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go in. We'll it's because I knew we were going to. Uh, that's <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Then back to the cover yeah. team. So do you see how they're, they're positioning then? You, the signal doesn't go on, you think, oh, what's yeah. happening there? So that's what it creates around them. And then we'll take the first row to the left. The first one, yeah. Quite a lot of the guys are switching to having the L plates on the car instead of the top sign, you know, because they're all tight. Because your top sign will cost you four miles a gallon, fuel, uh, fuel efficiency. Well, it'd be a good idea to and have it down at my end, because they'd knock it off anyway. Unless they come off quickly, I don't know. They do, uh, they, they do, they're, they're just magnetic. Off. I mean, I drive a Ford ST, like, so mine's a fuel goes anyway, but I don't mind that. <laughs> a little bit extra weight, I'm not bothered. That's a mate of mine got the Mondeo, the 24 valve job. Choose a car, what you're comfortable and what fits you. You know, it's, right. it's for you, it's not about fuel. If you otherwise, you'd just be driving a car that you don't like. Well, that's right. Uh, yeah. But when I'm using it for this purpose, it's in the mode that it's in now. But if I'm, if I'm out on the country lanes of uh, North Yorkshire and yeah. I'm playing about, then it drops into sport mode, which oh, makes absolutely. this a very different car. It's like my old car. I used to have that had a sports button, and it cost me more on insurance just because it had a sports button. But I've got a sports car now, which only cost me 300 quid a year to Good, insure, it? and that's fully comp. It, it's crazy. Left at the end of the road. Ah. So tell me about signalling here. Signalling here, I'll have to signal here anyway because I'll have to stop because it's a okay. slow one to come out of. So I think the key thing is that other people can see the signal before you can see them. So it can, it can have that sort of impact. Yeah, and that car's always there. Nine out of ten. So it gives you There's time. generally a white van on that. Yeah, car as well. As well. So it generally gives you that time to not have to use your handbrake because you can creep up to it, and it gives you that time yeah. knowing your area as well, isn't it? But obviously, if you're driving somewhere else, you use your handbrake on that. So one. was your driving always this smooth, or is this something that's developed? 
Um, it is, it's been um, developed as well because I've been developing it more while I've, because I drive for council. Right. You know, I mean, it's a bit more driver worse. Since I had kids, I, I used to drive like, you know, boy, <laughs> you know, like that. But then once I had kids, it was, now nah, I've got to, to give sort it myself bit. out. You know, don't be as, just give a bit more space here. Please. Tell me about that. Why have you left more space? Uh, because if help comes around there, a bus or anything, I've got time to reverse back as well. Cool. You've left the escape room, haven't you? Which yeah. Which is good. So you've taken into account that there's a bus, we'll go left of the roundabout. Yeah. That it's a bus area. spot that from this seat so can an examiner so you're, you know you can, then you're thinking yeah I'm sat next to somebody who knows what they're doing here yeah. makes you feel a bit more comfortable <laughs> See that big L plate on that truck? No, they should let you go now. They're gonna let you go. That was an interesting situation, wasn't it? Yeah. There's a good example of though other road users having to let them, you know, instead of reversing back. She did the right thing, I think, reversing back. Then she should have looked at the other drivers and then said, oh yeah, they're gonna let me go. Now, can you imagine if she had somebody other than you behind her there? She was in trouble, wasn't she? Because yeah. they might have gone right up behind her. Again, the not getting too close. <laughs> yeah. It's managing the space around you, yeah. isn't it? Really. It's, it's okay, yeah. I'm you know, being aware of the other vehicles, a big learner truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, the L plates would indicate that there's the potential for a mistake to happen. Yeah. So we'd go straight ahead. Straight ahead, yeah. We'll go up the roundabouts and go around and up right up the hill. That gives us some more uh, things to look at in terms of signalling. As I was talking about before, you know, that on these roundabouts, when we're turning right, is that type of signal to come off? Yeah. Tell me what your thoughts are on that. What you see ahead of you. A lot of traffic. I was just about to say, oh, could come across there and cut down. Stick with the right hand there and turn yeah. right at the end. I saw that they didn't press the button, so I knew that the lights weren't going to change. Excellent. Good stuff. And so you've still got a lot of training to do, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're in good shape. Uh, I, say, I only did that test this session because, I, I mean, again, I lost someone this weekend. Beginning of the year, when I first started, lost two people. Then work went crazy. But then again this weekend, but it's like, I hope, just up my test, get me theory done, yeah. and then get back into it. But while I've not been there as well, while I've been out in the work, yeah, I've been practicing. And with kids. Yeah. Well done, it's good stuff. So again, it's that time to signal off here. The there isn't, is there? Nah. Because you're, you're just busy steering. I should have done it, I'll just do my normal thing there. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the body language of this Mini tell you? Oh, they're wanting to go into the right hand lane. And they're wanting to go up there quick. No, they haven't. No, I was expecting no, I was expecting oh, yeah, yeah, that's there what I was expecting. Now, if I was in my car... <laughs> <laughs> Careful, you're on camera. You're on camera. The public, well, what I was going to say, if I was in my other car, they probably would have done that because it's, it's 
It's a bigger looking car. Yeah. People do back off on the look of cars, don't they? Yeah, they do. Well, we get past the lights to the, the exit to the left, past the, the exit to the left. Yeah, I'd have pulled back in a bit earlier, I was just moving out of it. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, I can see what you're doing. Tell me about this situation here. Yeah, they've got workmen there who might walk onto the road like he is doing. He's blocking it. I like the space you've left here because he could trip and fall. Yeah. It's good, it's good, it's good awareness. Yeah, I tripped over them back things myself before. <laughs> you forget you put them up. Traffic lights, it's not really, it's still one lane, it's not split into two yet. But people try to get up to curves, don't they? They do. And oh, left at the end. going into my right lane, and, and then back into the back into the car park. We'll see if we can put it back where it was when we came out. Yeah, that's a nice guy. He's looked it after is, that one. Wow. My cousin would love that. He, he does that. He's look, well looked tidy, after that. It? it is. Hell, what's that name? First left, is that 93? I'm not sure on that one, my wife, you should know. <laughs> she's she's yeah. got a number thing. I think L's 93. Now you might have to take two bites to get in here because this guy's parked on the wrong side of the road. Uh, the guys that were the wagons at the bottom here will be going nuts. Don't go in that way or? Uh, don't go up that don't way. Go up that way. Yeah, so it's definitely a two bite two job. Two bite, yeah. <laughs> no, that's six. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> What building's at the bottom there? There's a, an engineering place, there's a guy, an old boy has that place down the bottom, he's got some fantastic old bikes in there. I just saw it logs for sale, so I thought maybe a little wood yard there. Well, I think it's an engineering place that side, and the, this side rather, and the lot of wagons in and out there yeah. all the time. Is that your spot at the other side of Cow once? Yeah, that will do it. Don't bring his car now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you wouldn't mind, that would be smashing. No, because I have to do that hot work one. <laughs> right, so I can tell from the, the yeah. reverse and curl, it's fine. So tell me the story of the session. What have we gained from that? What have we learned? I think just to slow myself down. And I think that's where I was getting myself panicked a bit. I think it's just take everything easy, it's nice and slow, take a breath and have that extra all round observation. And not just once, maybe go again onto the double check. So do you think having and this criteria will help you for the... Oh absolutely, your, your absolutely because like you say I, I missed a page when I was reading through it and then I didn't notice it went oh and then you just go oh that's what examiner wants yeah. oh that's what I've got to do oh, I did that yeah. or Except if I'm not doing that because you can read it as well and go if you haven't got time to go out and drive you can read and go I'm not too sure on that I'll put it on the plan yeah. and then write it down onto the plan because you don't always have to be out in care with, with this that's you right. can read it and you're like Oh, I know that. Where can I find it? It's very easy as well. Yeah. You don't need to go to index. You can just it tells you on the page where to go. Well, you'll find your own way of using the thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, thanks for for helping out with this 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 little segment of video that we're doing, isn't it? Yeah. No, um, I forgot. What <laughs> yeah, well, you do it fairly quickly. You forget yeah. the things, don't you? I kind of see how you're going to have it. You've got loads of training left. I can't oh, see yeah. how you're going to have any problems at all with part two. You might even end up saving some time for part three. Yeah. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Happy Keep on getting stuck into that. If you have any questions in the meantime, come back to me. So have we have we ticked off the targets that we had for today? It was about I, well, we did, light yeah. Stuff, traffic traffic lights, that reverse bay parking. I might buy one of these cars. <laughs> <laughs> these are nice to drive actually. Yeah, they're, they're uh, not, they're when not I looked at it, either. when I looked at it, I was like, oh no, I'm not sure. Because if I do pass, that's going to come into my. I'm going to be changing that up for off road. Yes, that's a bit, uh, it's a bit sporty, isn't it? Yeah. But it's uh, they're not a lot of money. These things. Um, but and it's very like nice. a clutch light, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. nice. Um, for I'll pop the camera off. 